We bet you never thought about a future where robots aren't just smart, they can actually learn faster than people. Yeah, it's a little scary but also totally mind-blowing. Tesla bot Gen 3, Elon Musk's latest breakthrough, is surprising the world by teaching itself around 100 new tasks every single day just by watching YouTube videos. If Optimus can just watch how-to videos or clips on YouTube, and learn from them the way people do, then its ability to learn tasks becomes incredibly powerful. That means it can quickly pick up how to do almost anything. Elon Musk believes humanoid robots will become the biggest product ever, with demand that just keeps growing. Sounds hard to believe, right? But from making meals and fixing things to cleaning up and even dancing, there seems to be no limit to what this robot can do. The amazing progress in AI across the globe has made robots like this smarter than ever before. While humans might need weeks or even months to learn one skill, Tesla bot Gen 3 only needs a few minutes. This robot is completely changing how we think about learning and showing us a new era of technology that goes way beyond anything we imagined. Let's look into the unbelievable abilities of this robot and why Elon Musk keeps saying this could be Tesla's biggest product yet. Welcome to Auto Intel. Recently, Tesla showed off a new demo video where Optimus performed several new jobs with ease, proving once again how useful it could be as the ultimate home helper. This has created a lot of excitement and people are really looking forward to its official launch. Using just one neural network, Optimus was shown doing everyday household jobs like sweeping the floor, cooking, using a microwave, vacuuming, and picking up trash. It also showed it could help in factories, for example, picking up a part of a Model X and placing it on a cart. This proves it could be useful not only at home but also at work. You might think, oh, someone just told it what to do. And you're right. It received a simple voice command like, pick up the broom and sweep the floor, and it did exactly that. So yes, Optimus responds to both voice and text commands. But what's really amazing is that it can carry out those tasks using just very simple instructions. What impressed people the most, and what many probably didn't notice, is that Optimus can now use both hands. Before, it mostly worked with just one. This is a big step forward and shows it can now handle more complicated movements and tasks. Even though the robot's hands don't yet have the full 22 degrees of freedom like human hands, just being able to use both hands at once already takes a higher level of skill. Before, Optimus could only pick up things or sort parts using one arm. Now it can understand and respond to input from both arms at the same time, much like how people use their left and right hands together. This means the AI software has to work out and control both hands at the same time without crashing into itself, while keeping balance and moving smoothly. So just imagine what it'll be able to do once those hands become fully flexible with 22 degrees of freedom. The next videos are going to be even more exciting. One of the biggest changes shown in Tesla's latest update video is how Optimus learns new tasks. In the past, training robots often required methods like motion capture, where a person wears special gear to show the robot what to do, or teleoperation, where someone controls the robot from far away. But Tesla has chosen a much smarter way. They simply let Optimus watch videos of people doing jobs, and then it works out how to do them by itself. It's just like how we might watch a YouTube video to learn how to fix a leaking tap or cook a new recipe. For example, to teach Optimus to cook a steak, Tesla gives it a video of a chef preparing the dish. Then, in a digital training environment, Optimus will try cooking that steak millions of times, using different ways to cut, season, and cook. Each time it gets something wrong, it learns from the mistake and improves. When it reaches a nearly perfect success rate, maybe 99%, then it's ready to try it in the real world. This kind of training helps it learn much faster than older ways. If you prefer a more hands-on method, you can also train Optimus yourself, especially if you own one. Besides watching videos, you can teach it directly. Imagine saying, hey, can you help me iron this shirt? 
you show it once how to turn on the iron and move it over the shirt. Optimus watches, studies, and tries. If it does it wrong, you correct it, no, move the iron this way. It learns, remembers, and gets better each time. Sure, it might ruin a few shirts at the start, but that's part of how learning works, even for a robot. What's really interesting is that Optimus learns from video clips the same way Tesla's full self-driving system does. Instead of programming every possible thing it might face on the road, Tesla feeds the driving AI millions of real videos of how people drive in different situations. With Optimus, it's the same idea. Give the robot tons of real-world examples, and let it learn how to handle them on its own. This makes learning much quicker and allows Optimus to keep gaining new abilities without someone having to constantly give instructions. That's what makes Tesla a leader in real-world AI. What they learn from building the self-driving system goes into the Optimus robot too. And they also use their skills in making electric motors, batteries, electronics, and structure design. Another important strength Tesla has is their ability to build products well and at scale. When you see a group of Optimus robots dancing together, it looks like a trained group performing after weeks of practice. But there's more going on. In Tesla's system, each robot doesn't need to be trained one by one. Instead, Tesla built a powerful group learning system. When one Optimus learns something new, it uploads that skill to a shared brain, and every other Optimus can then do that task too, right away. For instance, if one robot figures out how to make an omelet, all other Optimuses instantly know how to make it too. This saves a lot of time and creates a system where skills multiply quickly. That's why when one robot learns to dance, all the others can dance just as well and in perfect harmony. If one robot in a factory learns how to put together a piece of a cybercab robotaxi, all the other robots can now do it too. This could change how factories work forever. Imagine Tesla having 1,000 robots. If each one learns just one task daily, that's 1,000 new tasks the entire network learns in a single day. This kind of shared learning system grows much faster than the way people learn, which is usually one person at a time. Elon Musk often says that Optimus is a very special Tesla product and could become the smartest robot on Earth. And yes, it's not unrealistic to say Optimus might be learning up to 100 tasks a day. Of course, it's not learning 100 complex jobs like cooking 100 unique meals. Many of these tasks are simple actions, wiping a table, cleaning a chair, or vacuuming a floor. These cleaning-related jobs are fairly easy and can be learned in one day. According to Tesla, Optimus has a 2.3 kilowatt-hour battery, which gives it around 8 hours of use. But that depends on what the robot is doing. Heavy work like walking around, dancing, or lifting things will use more battery. Lighter tasks like standing or sorting items use less power. Also, weather conditions and working outside in tough environments can affect the battery's performance. Human learning is limited by time, personal skills, and different ways people learn. For example, 1,000 chefs might take hours or days to learn how to cook steak, and even then, the results would be different. But when Optimus learns something, it shares that data across all robots, and they all do it the same way. However, not everyone feels comfortable with this kind of learning ability. Some people worry that if Optimus sees videos teaching harmful things like how to use weapons or do something illegal, it could copy those actions with perfect skill. That sounds like something from a sci-fi movie like Terminator. Yes, people have thought about this danger. One way to stop this would be to create smart filters that screen videos before Optimus watches them. These filters would block anything dangerous, illegal, or inappropriate by checking for certain words, images, or topics. For example, any video that includes weapons or crime would be blocked automatically. Another safety step would be to let Optimus learn only from safe and trusted sources. Official YouTube channels, Tesla's own training videos, or user-uploaded clips that are checked by the system first. 
this can help stop bad content from teaching the robot wrong things. Tesla is known for being a top player in AI, so building strong safety systems should be part of their development process. Now, let's talk money. You've probably thought about how profitable Optimus could be. And yes, this robot could be a huge moneymaker for people who know how to use it right. Imagine a world where robots don't just replace human workers but also make work better, cheaper, and faster. In restaurants, factories, shops, and farms, having Optimus on the team would be a game-changer. With its smooth movement, ability to do different tasks, and fast learning, Optimus could wait tables, clean up, and even help in the kitchen. It never gets tired, never needs breaks, and can serve hundreds of people with the same friendly robotic behavior. This would improve customer service while lowering labor costs. A restaurant that used to need 20 workers could now get by with 5 to 10, while Optimus handles the boring, repetitive stuff. Even better, Optimus could be trained to suggest menu items based on what customers like, helping to sell more. With a one-time investment, the robot could pay for itself in just a few years, thanks to all the money saved and extra income earned. In factories, time is money. Delays or mistakes cost millions. But Optimus, with perfect accuracy and non-stop workability, is great for improving production. It can help build things, check quality, and move stuff around. Unlike older machines that stay in one place, Optimus can move, talk to people, and adjust to new tasks without needing to rebuild the factory. This means less downtime, more output, and fewer mistakes. It can even work with AI to predict demand, improve the supply chain, and suggest better ways to build things. That means your factory could run faster, cheaper, and smarter. Now, think even bigger. Optimus could help create totally new businesses. In retail, it could act like a smart sales assistant, helping customers and tracking stock. On farms, it could plant crops, harvest them, and monitor growth, all without needing lots of human workers. At home, it could cook, clean, or even care for elderly family members. A small company could even start renting out Optimus robots to homes or small businesses, a new kind of service that could make millions. Of course, Tesla Bot still needs another year or so of development before it's ready for everyone. It's expected to be released around the third quarter of 2026. At first, only a few units will be available, but it'll be a big moment for tech history. So far, very few companies in the world are close to launching a humanoid robot. And needing another year is totally expected, making robots like this is one of the hardest challenges in technology. They need perfect hardware, great software, and smart AI all working together. Right now, Tesla's team is focused on teaching Optimus to handle harder jobs, like working in changing environments or doing tasks that require working closely with people. Some viewers have noticed that Tesla's demo videos are often shown at double speed. That makes it tricky to see how fast Optimus really works. Tesla will need to show real-time videos soon to prove that Optimus can do these jobs at normal speed and still do them well. But there's no doubt that Optimus is moving forward. Tesla's team has made huge progress in how the robot moves and acts. It used to walk stiffly and awkwardly, but now it walks smoother and can do a wider variety of tasks, just like a helper at home. Still, there's more work to do before it's ready for everyone. That includes making the AI software better, making sure the hardware lasts longer, and proving Optimus can work for long hours in different places. The extra year of development is needed to fix those problems so that by Q3 2026, Optimus is ready to impress. As for the price, Elon Musk once mentioned it could cost $20,000, but that number is probably too low for the first version. Right now, the real price is likely to be between $40,000 and $50,000. That's because making a humanoid robot is very hard. The supply chain for all the parts, motors, sensors, batteries, had to be built from nothing. 
Many parts still come from China, where costs and shipping can change because of world events. Musk says the $20,000 price might only happen once Tesla starts making a million robots a year, which could be around 2029 or 2030. Until then, the robot will cost more. But even at a higher price, it offers something very unique. When Tesla finally releases the Tesla bot, they'll probably give early units to employees and famous people first, to get people talking. That first batch might only be a few hundred or a few thousand robots. But that will start the big rollout. Just like they did with electric cars, production will likely increase quickly. And one day, maybe a Tesla bot will help build the next Tesla bot. At that point, everyone might have a chance to own one. If Optimus can learn from videos, what do you think it should focus on first to make the biggest impact at work or home? Do you think it could eventually get better than humans at certain skills? Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching Auto Intel, and goodbye.